Are you one of those who aspires a high paying package or maybe one of those who wants to upskill and explore new technologies? Then you are at the right place. Hi everyone. In this session, we'll discuss about the current trends in the IT industry parallel to the current scenario. We will walk you through the top 10 highest paying jobs. We will let you know that how k 3 one Academy will be there to help you out to anchor those skills and the ways you can reach out to us. But before getting into more technicalities, let's first get a brief understanding of the current scenario of the IT sector. Customers expect to reduce their IT budgets and slow down new initiatives due to the fear of uncertain economic situations. But we do have a silver lining with us. As said by IDF, that IT industry is expected to reach $350 billion by the year 2025. This indirectly means that the jobs will increase in the next couple of years. Having worked from home as a blessing in disguise, we can upskill, learn, and earn way more. So let's dive in. First in our list, we have the DevOps Engineer. The DevOps Engineer introduces the team to different tools and technologies throughout the software development lifecycle. And to be a good DevOps Engineer, you need to have the following skills. Knowledge about operating systems such as Unix and Linux, scripting languages, tools like Docker and Jenkins, problem solving, and system design. Talking about the average salary for DevOps Engineer, for freshers, the average salary could be around $115,000 in the USA and around 3 lakhs in India. For experienced professionals, the salary could be around $165,000 in the USA and around 6 lakhs in India. To help you get started with your career in DevOps, K21 Academy provides cloud certifications by the top two cloud service providers. Number one, we have Microsoft Certified DevOps Engineer, that is AZ400, and AWS Certified DevOps Engineer Professional, that is DOPC01. To master DevOps from the scratch, you can book your seat for our free class. To know more about it, you can comment below and our team will reach out to you. On number two, we have Artificial Intelligence Engineer. They build and test the AI ML models. AI has reached a point today where it can surpass the human decision making with more accuracy and consistency. In order to be a good AI engineer, you can have the following skills. A problem-solving mindset, programming languages, algorithm analysis, statistical modeling, and knowledge about AI frameworks. Talking about the average salary for an AI engineer, if you're a fresher, you can get around $86,000 in the USA and around 7 lakhs in India. And if you're an experienced professional, you may get around $180,000 in the USA and around 15 lakhs in India. We at K21 Academy are here to help you to jumpstart your career in AI with our AI102 Microsoft Certified Azure AI Engineer Certificate. To understand artificial intelligence in depth, you can add your name to the waitlist for a free class on Microsoft Azure AI Engineer Associate. To learn more about it, you can comment below and our team will reach out to you. On number 3, we have Cloud Architect. A Cloud Architect is responsible for converting the technical requirements of a project into its architecture and design that will guide the final product. And in order to be a good Cloud Architect, you can have the following skills. Knowledge about different cloud frameworks, knowledge about programming languages, should be able to encounter problems with optimal solutions, good knowledge of at least one OS, that is Linux or Unix, and network security. Talking about the average salary for a cloud architect, if you're a professional, you could get around $8,000 in the USA and around 6 lakhs in India. And if you're an experienced professional, you may get around $120,000 in the USA and around 17 lakhs in India. We at K21 Academy are here to help you with polishing your skills as we provide the following certifications. We have Oracle Certified Associate, that is Oracle Cloud Architect 1Z01072. Under we have Microsoft Certified Azure Solutions Architect Expert, that is AZ303 and AZ304. We have AWS Certified Solution Architect Professional, that is SAAC02. Becoming a cloud architect is no more a tough job. You can book your seat for a free class on Amazon AWS Solution Architect. 
To learn more about it, you can comment below and our team will get back to you. Next in our list, we have data scientists. Data scientists are analytical experts who utilize their skills in both technology and social science to find trends and manage data. And if you want to be a good data scientist, you can have the following skills. You should be able to analyze the data well, have generous knowledge about cloud computing and its basic terminologies, should be well versed with any script in languages like Python or R, should have hands on experience with OS such as Linux or Unix, and general knowledge about query languages such as SQL. The average salary of data scientists. If you're a fresher, you may get around $69,000 in the USA and around 7 lakhs in India. And if you're a professional, you may get around $122,000 in the USA and around 10 lakhs in India. To help you with the skills and exposures, we at K21 Academy provide you with certification for Azure Data Scientist Associate, that is DP100. If you also want to master data science from scratch, then you can book your seat for a free class on Microsoft Azure Data Scientist Certification. To learn more about our free class, you can comment below and our team will get back to you. Next in the list, we have Machine Learning Specialist. A machine learning specialist is a professional specialized in developing machine learning that is a branch of computer science that focuses on developing algorithms that can learn or adapt or make predictions. In order to be a good machine learning specialist or machine learning engineer, you can have the following skills. You need to be well versed with mathematics and statistics, knowledge about cloud computing, programming languages such as Python and R, you should be able to analyze the data well, and query languages such as SQL. Talking about the average salary for an ML specialist, if you're a fresher, you can get around $92,000 in the USA and around 5 lakhs in India. And if you're an experienced professional, you may get around $15,000 in the USA and around 19 lakhs in India. We at K21 Academy provide you with AWS Certified Machine Learning Speciality Certification, that is MLS C01. Are you one of those who wants to master their machine learning skills? Then add your name to the waitlist for a free class on AWS Certified Machine Learning Speciality. To learn more about it, please comment below and our team will get back to you. Next up, we have Data Analyst. A data analyst is someone who scrutinizes the information using data analysis tools. The meaningful results they pull from the raw data can help the employees and the businesses. If you want to be a good data analyst, you can have the following skills. Mathematics, cloud computing, and Python language. And the most important is visualization. Talking about the average salary for data analyst, if you're a fresher, you can get around $56,000 in the USA and around 3.5 lakhs in India. And if you're an experienced professional, you may get around $71,000 in the USA and around 9 lakhs in India. We at K21 Academy provide you with Microsoft Certified Data Analyst Associate, that is DA100 certificate. Do you also want to polish your data analysis skills? Then book your seat for a free class on Microsoft Power BI Data Analyst Certification for Beginners. To learn more about it, you can comment below and our team will get back to you. Next, we have Kubernetes Administrator. The primary responsibility of a Kubernetes administrator is to design and implement solutions in order to leverage a Kubernetes cluster configuration of hardware and managing storage. In order to be a good Kubernetes administrator, you can have the following skills. Knowledge about container management, knowledge about cloud computing, how to deploy, how to debug, and networking services. Coming to the average salary of Kubernetes administrator, if you're a fresher, you can get around $120,000 in the USA and around 5 lakhs in India. And if you're an experienced professional, you may get around $171,000 in the USA and around 12 lakhs in India. We at K21 Academy provide you with the following certifications. Certified Kubernetes Administrator, that is CKA. Certified Kubernetes Application Developer, that is CKAD and Certified Kubernetes Security Specialist, that is CKS. To learn more about Docker and Kubernetes, you can book your seat for a free class. 
To learn more about it, you can comment below and our team will get back to you. Next in the list, we have RPA developers or Robotic Process Automation Developers. The RPA developers are meant to design, develop, and implement software robots or bots to make the business work with more efficiency. And in order to be a good RPA developer, you can have the following skills. Problem solving skills, basics of machine learning and AI, query languages such as SQL, database management system, and automation tools. Talking about the average salary of RPA developers, if you're a fresher, you can get around $80,000 in the USA and around 6.5 lakhs in India. And if you're an experienced professional, you may get around $107,000 in the USA and around 16 lakhs in India. Next up and our second last technology we have is blockchain engineer. Today, many businesses have started accepting bitcoins as a mode of payment. Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency or peer-to-peer e-payment system where user can anonymously transfer bitcoins. And in order to be a good blockchain developer, you can have the following skills. You need to know the concepts of cryptography. You should have good knowledge of data structure and algorithms, basic knowledge of web development, strong hold on cloud technologies, and networking services. Talking about the average salary of blockchain engineer, if you're a fresher, you can get around $131,000 in the USA and around 5 lakhs in India. And if you're an experienced professional, you may get around $150,000 in the USA and around 13 lakhs in India. Last but not the least, we are talking about full stack developers. Full stack developer has been a buzz and has been rapidly adopted by many businesses. Full stack developers are technical practitioners well versed in the back end as well as in the front end technologies. They design and build APIs with mean stack, maintain code integrity, and preserving the data security. If you want to be a good full stack developer, you can have the following skills good proficiency in database technologies, sound knowledge of front end technologies, must have as a foundation of API development knowledge, back end languages, and designing skills. Talking about the average salary of a full stack developer, if you're a fresher, you can get around $69,000 in the USA and around 5 lakhs in India. And if you're an experienced professional, you may get around $107,800 in the USA and around 12 lakhs in India. You have hustled hard throughout all those years of your formal education, and now you need a job that justifies those years of struggle. Are you confused? Okay, so let's get up. Money is always flying away from us. The more we approach it, the more difficult it becomes. But here is how you can have a good grip. Taking work from home as a blessing, why not learn some skills and get ourselves certified and then reach to higher success? With this question, I conclude my list for the highest paying jobs for this year. Please leave us with suggestions in the comment section. Thank you.